it's part of having experience. Uh, it's part of being through um, the wars, so to speak. Um, and, you know, there is that fine line of having patience um, as well as recognition and trust of, of who you are and what you, you're capable of and what you're meant to be and, and allowing, you know, that to play out and clearly understand there's a period of time, you know, uh, where that gets tested a lot more than the first 15 games of a season, um, you know, of a 162 game season, but, uh, bottom line, Bruce, we recognize that we're, we're, uh, really disappointed in how we started this season. Um, but, uh, and we're checking all the boxes and having all the conversations and, and you know, our intent is clearly to support our players and staff as we deal with this, uh, slow start. Um, you know, I've had many a conference calls years gone by where, you know, you kind of liken it to you're, you're out at sea and you're in a storm and, you know, you just have to sail through it. You have to batten down the hatches and sail through it and make sure you, you cross check all your, your, in, in your individual categories, whether it's your name field coach, the outfield coach, the hitting coach, the pitching coach, the front office, the manager, the bench coach, and, and making sure you're checking every box uh, in your job on a daily basis. Uh, because obviously um, when you're not, you know, thriving in the category, especially like our offense that you're capable of, you know, then the the smaller stuff gets magnified and you really need to be as clean as you and buttoned up as you possibly can as you you know try to sail through that storm waiting for that offense to to find its stride and, and kick in and so obviously when a, a kicked ball on uh, on the defensive side or a throw to the wrong base or or a base running gaff you know whenever those things happen under these circumstances it obviously hurts you even that much more because it takes you out of a potential winning scenario and uh and rather than you know being in a position to you know to cover those when they do happen when you're you're putting five six seven runs on the board so right now we're not and uh and you know other aspects of our game are also you know subpar and therefore we're we own the record we have, and and uh, we have some work to do to to reverse that. We're all in the same boat with performance. I mean, we're you know our record is reflective re reflective of uh, of our organization. Obviously, Aaron's a piece of that, um, as 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 am I. And uh, uh, but otherwise, he's doing everything he needs to do. Um, he's checking all. He's cross checking his. You know whether it's lineup related, whether it's. Uh, how do you deploy the troops, uh, you know, on the defensive standpoint, um, you know, obviously he spoke to the team after, you know, bef before the uh, Montgomery start um, when we faced class now the night before, after that tough loss, uh, he obviously engaged the group in a strong way. Um, you know, so he's, he's doing everything he needs to do. Uh, it, and most importantly, supporting these guys um, because we trust our players and we trust their abilities and we trust over the, the course of time, you know, that will, uh, as it normally does, um, correct itself. And then obviously um, with a lot more, certainly games under the, the belt. So, you know, I think Aaron Boone's doing everything he can do within his power currently. Obviously we're not firing all cylinders. Um, you know, we're, you know, our strengths obviously are not um, showing themselves right now. Uh, so, so if you had a chance to catch us right now, you're catching us at the right time uh, through obviously yesterday's games. And we look forward to that changing. Uh, but typically it's a very tough lineup to, to, to face, to navigate. You know, uh, typically it's a lineup that controls the strike zone and punishes strikes and, and, uh, and spits on balls and, uh, and wears you out and gets you usually gets a starter out early and gets into the 10 uh, and does and continues that, you know, damage in that uh, passing the baton right now, that's not happening. Uh, it's happened before uh, and it happens typically to, to everyone uh, and anyone. Uh, and, uh, but again, part of the, part of this scenario is how you handle it while you're going through it. Um, you know, there's a, you can, you know, yeah. the purpose of me being on this call right now uh, is it's an off day. Uh, don't want to 
run and hide from it. Want to acknowledge uh, obviously our disappointing play, but also reinforce that we're uh, we're not going to have 15 games. You know, have us adjust the course. Where our message to our players and therefore our fans is, we are going to uh, fight our way out of that start, and uh, and hopefully by the end of the month you'll see a uh, a more reflective record that uh, gets us back online and and gets people's confidence uh, back to where uh, it should be. Uh, and you know, that's that's the main purpose of this right now. We have gotten out of the gate uh, slowly. Um, and, uh, our starting pitching obviously has not gone deep uh, absent of Garrett Cole, you know, Monty's, uh, you know, done a nice job, I think, uh, but ultimately, um, you know, I think our starters will get online and get us that distance and, and get us that consistently good performance every five days, and, uh, just hasn't happened on the outset and, uh, in their first two to three starts and, you know, um, but I'm looking, looking forward to better days ahead. I, you know, I, I certainly am not passing judgment on, on, on our offensive, on, on our, our starting staff. You know, uh, I think the bullpen's done, you know, what they can do. Uh, and, you know, we obviously need to run the bases better and, and shore up our defense uh, as well, you know, to support, you know, uh, the, the other aspects of the club. But um, I'm not here right now to, to, to do anything uh, – you know, other than say we're disappointed by how we started this season, we are going to get it corrected. Uh, we'll get back online and be where we have to be. Um, and but that's everything we're doing right now. Uh, we're going to support these guys. Uh, they they're better than what they've shown. They know it, but they care at the same time. You know, um, no one here is. If I if I was speaking for anybody on on this squad which I like to think I am, they're frustrated, disappointed, you know, what, you know, there's some lack of sleep going on right now. There's some pressing going on right now. Uh, and all that is because there's a great deep caring about wanting to do uh, and accomplish what you're capable of accomplishing. And when, when you fall short of that, there's a lot of tossing and turning going on. And, and, uh, but, you know, we're going to do everything in our power to avoid, you know, that finger pointing, or that, uh, you know, that having those frustrations boil over into something negative uh, and make sure that we just, you know, rally the troops around each other and try to be there in a strong, supportive way. Because right now we've earned uh, any negative criticism or whether it's booze in the stands. No one, I don't care how bad we've played, uh, no one has earned having things thrown at them on the field on that one particular game. But uh, but ultimately the rest of it is, yeah, it's part of the process too. You know, when you play bad, you're going to hear about it when you uh, you know, when you don't live up to your expectations uh, or your fans' expectations or, or your owners' expectations, you're, you're going to hear it. And, uh, and it's about doing something about it as you move forward. And, and that'll hopefully start as early as Tuesday. We've said that many a times, but, uh, but that's what you got to do. You know, how, how obviously he's got a lot invested in this situation, um, but he's also a fan, um, just like we all are. And, and uh, you know, our expectations is bright, provide great Yankee baseball for those who come to the game or those who are watching the games. And uh, we, we haven't done that here in the, uh, the beginning of April. Uh, and clearly we got to, we got to self-correct that here over the course of time. And uh, we look forward to doing that and proving, proving anybody who's going to predict otherwise proving them wrong. Um, but we understand why there's some doubts currently and, and question marks and there's a lot of head scratching on, on how the roster is currently uh, performed thus far. But uh, as I referenced before, it's 15 games uh, and it was 15 games. I like to forget the only way I'm going to forget them is, uh, is, you know, doing something about it in the next 15 and seeing, uh, seeing how those results look. You know, the same core players are still here that, that have wreaked havoc on many a great pitching staffs, uh, whether it's, you know, last postseason or prior postseasons, you know, um, so you got 2020 last, uh, and then you turn the clock back to 2019, 2018, where, yeah, we did, we get all the way to where we wanted to get to. Um, no, uh, but we were capable of it. Uh, and we obviously got through a lot of different high end stuff and, and we're still fighting for, for that. But I don't think, uh, personally that, um, you know, we're, I don't think there's something necessarily wrong with how we go about our business. Um, 
So, you know, it's, it's a strong, healthy process has served us well. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I know at the end of the day, people get judged ultimately on the uh, championship trophy that you either have or you don't. Um, and it's, it's a hard one to get your hands wrapped around. Believe me, you know, I've, I've been a part of a number of them and, and had teams that were more than capable that fell short, even though they might've been the odds on favorite going into it. And, uh, uh, so we're going to keep taking our shot with what we've got and, and, and we like what we've got. We just don't have it fired on all cylinders right now. And that's uh, certainly acknowledgement, uh, um, by my words. Uh, but they are obviously, it's an obvious comment too. We obviously are not playing good baseball. I know we have a group that's hungry to do good things, but I also know they're not immune to falling trap, to pressing, trying too hard, you know, getting emotional, uh, which could lead to, you know, you know, a bad play or a stupid baseball move that gets judged horribly after the fact is because they care too much. Now I was in the clubhouse yesterday when Jay Bruce spoke to our team. Uh, Jay's one of the, I have, we, we have never had, we didn't have an opportunity to have Jay long, obviously. And he, he, he retired, but he did address the team pregame. Uh, and, and I've had conversations privately with Jay about our culture and our organization and what he perceives perceived from afar and what in his limited time with the club was in the present and he spoke from the heart with the with the players about the good times the tough times and staying together and fighting through things it was a it was a hell of a speech um obviously we didn't uh it's not like you can instantly turn a light switch back into everything positive the next day but but you know i I felt like it resonated with me just sitting in the back of the room uh and i know watching how our players are listening to someone who truly loves the game, reminding them about, you know, the game's ups and downs and trying to stay consistent and staying together while you're going through the tough times. He touched on a lot of stuff that is obvious, but it's good to hear it from someone that, that, you know, has played in a number of different places, uh, has had the respect of his peers and performed obviously at a high level for quite some time uh, and on his way out the door, um, I thought it was a great moment of reminders to us all that, you know, Hey, we're still obviously human. We might, we might throw out a roster that's more talented than most. um, But we're not immune to struggling uh, and having, you know, as, as Booney talks to you, you know, that, you know, adversity is at your doorstep and, you know, yeah, we're, we're going through that mix right now. And uh, so the culture is, if you got the right, people involved and you know steering it which i think we do and if you have the right players that have been through it which they have is that you just go through those those checklists of when you're going through that that storm of this is what you need to do uh to get through it and make sure that we stay together while we're getting through it and uh and at some point you know uh it's going to turn and back into things you can forget it's the simple stuff you got to revert back to you know making sure you command the strike zone, you know, attack strikes, spit on balls, you know, make sure that you're, you're buttoned up on, on everything and anything the opposing team is giving you and take advantage of what they're giving you. Be, be aggressive with your strengths, but, but, uh, but don't be passive. You know, and I think at times when you go in a stretch like this, you can, you can be afraid to make mistakes at the same time you can be in that uh, stress mode of trying to do too much and get outside of your swing uh, or, or throw to the wrong base because you, know, you wind up overthrowing because you're trying to make, you know, a super play. And, and next thing you know, you're, you're just making it worse. So we just need to calm ourselves down, uh, go back to the basics on every individual, you know, situation, uh, meaning player wise and, and control what you can control and don't try to get outside of yourself because, you know, you're good enough as is already, uh, despite what this stretch just showed.